push. Play. For, uh, no way, are you really doing this? I think he's serious. Oh, oh, Hajime. Oh, Hajime. So, here I am. If the game turns out to be dangerous, I'll just stop playing it. What if it injects you with crystal meth? <laughs> like, this is Monokuma. So I should <laughs> just go for it. Yeah, just go for it. What's the worst that can happen? Gosh, everything. I guess for now, I should try playing it a little. I, cautious I cautiously stood in front of the arcade game and the screen automatically lit up. As I faced the screen, I put my hand on the joystick. Monokuma Soft, licensed by Monokuma Inc. Warning, this game is a work of non-fiction. Any resemblances to real persons living or dead is purely coincidental. I... This game has a strange old-fashioned vibe to it. I wonder, is the person who's controlling Monokuma actually pretty old? Oh well, I should try to start it up. It'll start if I press the enter key, right? Now then, let's begin Twilight Syndrome murder case. Please press the enter key with your own hands. Really? Second day, what was the first? What was the... <laughs> what was the first day? Ah, it's already late. I'm gonna be late for our meeting. Everyone's waiting. I gotta hurry and go. If I'm late, everyone's gonna hate me. Um, they're waiting in classroom 1A. Do I? I'm, I'm curious, but I can't go. Okay, I had to try. Enter. Got it. Man, you're finally here. You're so late. What were you doing? I'm... I'm sorry. If you're angry, I'm sorry. Um, don't be mad. We're not angry. Just hurry up and get over here. Okay. I should go talk to Girl B for now. Freaking, what is this? Uh, talk to her. Um, we're here because you had something important to say, right? What's this about? Obviously, it's about yesterday's incident. Hey, you already saw the newspaper, right? Yeah. Oh, what newspaper? God, you're such a slowpoke, girl A. <laughs> it's in today's evening newspaper. Oh my gosh. This one, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Just read it. July 8th. At around 6 o'clock a.m., a janitor from XX Academy came to work and discovered the body of a female high school student in the music room on the second floor. The student had been struck forcefully in the head with a blunt object and was already dead. It seems the killer broke a window to escape. Based on the details of the crime, authorities say, the investigation is ongoing and believes someone may have snuck into the school to commit the act. Or they were there and they jumped out the window to escape. I was a little surprised. I never expected it would make the newspaper. It says someone may have snuck into the school, so they might be thinking that a pervert did it. 
it is the only lead they have. I mean, her school swimsuit did get stolen too. Ooh. That sick, twisted basket case. Sneaking into a school to steal a swimsuit, killing a nearby girl and escaping out the window. Yeah, we're all in danger too. But is this really okay? We were the first ones to discover the body and we kept it a secret. I would have been I would have been the same no matter who found the body first. It would have been the same. Don't worry about it. It's not like we have anything to hide anyway. That's right. All we did was find a body and not report it. That's not really a crime. But still, I know you're a masochist, but there's no way I'm going to get involved in this. I'm finally a student at this academy. There's no way I'm getting expelled over something like this. Right? Isn't that right, Girl D? Uh, yeah, I agree, but... What's up? You don't seem so sure. Uh, um, I actually have something to discuss with you guys. Girl D, I wonder what's going on. What does she want to talk about? Talk to me, Girl D. To be honest, I ended up taking several photos of her yesterday. <gasps> no, of her dead body? Are you talking about her body? Oh, <clears throat> are you talking about her body? <clears throat> I thought we might get questioned by the police, so I thought I should take them just in case. Where are those photos now? I have them right here. Whoa! I don't want to look at them. <gasps> We're definitely gonna get cursed. Uh, cursed? Stupid. Curses aren't even real. <clears throat> you seriously need to throw away those photos. Give them to me. Uh, hey! This is bad. If you rip it up like that, the curse. I just said curses don't exist, biscuit head. It's better to just rip these photos to shreds and throw them into the incinerator. Girl D, if you have any, oh, that's her. Girl D, if you have any digital copies, you need to erase those too. Uh, okay. Hey, girly, what happened? Why do you sound so desperate? Never mind. Let's just forget about the whole incident. We had nothing to do with it, and we weren't the first ones to discover the body. Though you were acting very suspicious. Okay? The end. Seriously, let's just go home already. Come on, it's getting late. Fourth day? Is it a Friday? Man, it's already late. The hardest part of being in the archery club is changing clothes. Everyone's probably gone back by now. Then, I guess I have to go back to my own. Uh, go back on my own. I think this is around the time that incident occurred too. Oh jeez. Why am I thinking about something so stupid again? That's right. I just gotta hurry up and forget about that incident. I won't let you forget. I... <clears throat> I won't let you forget. Huh? I won't let you forget. Uh, who's there? Where are you? I won't let you forget. 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 Forgive me. Forgive me. Never. Never, 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 never. never. 
I will never forgive you. This game? What is this game? Ah, uh, girl A. What happened? Did something happen? Mm, this is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> I need to poop. <laughs> Her head. Her head is split open like that one time. It's probably the curse. Is there... <laughs> Why are you acting like it's a freaking earthquake? Is this a thing? It's the curse. It's all the curse's fault because of the curse, girl E. What happened to girl E? Take a look in there. Classroom 1B. I'm, I can't keep track of... Oh, I can run. I can't keep track of all the accents, so... I don't think it matters. Wow. Wow. Huh. Huh? Is this the end? This is the end? Wait, now it's game over for some reason. I don't get it. Even the game's structure doesn't make sense. It started with the second day all of a sudden and jumped to the fourth day afterward. Why were the first day and third third and third day skipped? Did someone else skip those days? And what's with this down five message on the game over screen? Down five? Who's down by five? What the heck is this? I don't get this at all. How would this be the motive? Is this what it's like to play a crappy game? Oh, you have no idea. For now, it's a waste of time to just stay here, so I should go back to my cottage and think about it. I wouldn't do that either. I went back to my cottage feeling hazy and disoriented. As I tried to think about why I felt so strange, I fell asleep without realizing it. Hey, um... Life isn't just about moving forward. When confronted by an important question, it's good to stop moving and take your time thinking about it. For example, my stomach hasn't felt well all morning, so I ran to the restroom as soon as I got off the train. But right when I was about to enter, an important question stood before me. Life is like that every now and then. Suddenly, an important question gets in your way. The important question that stood before me was the gentleman sign on the restroom door. As I resisted the overwhelming urge to poop, I thought about it desperately. Am I really a gentleman? Do I have class? Am I honest? Am I faithful? No. Why am I even hesitating? Of course I'm a gentleman. A regular person wouldn't last five minutes resisting this urge to poop, but a gentleman most certainly would. And the bears went in the woods. Filled with pride, I ran into the restroom meant for gentlemen, and what awaited me was... Another important question. Do I go front to back? Back to front? The important question that stood before me was the Western style and Japanese style signs on each door. I was definitely born in Japan, but haven't I forgotten what makes a clean... What makes clean, beautiful Japan so good? I was definitely born in Japan, but haven't I forgotten what makes clean, beautiful Japan so good? Oh, I love Japan. Oh... I wish things weren't so short. <laughs> I'm, I'm tall. I'm 5'7", so everything is really short for me. And small. Do I have enough confidence in myself to take a Japanese-style poop? As you can see, there are always important questions waiting for you. Brought to you by Monokuma! That's what life is all about!
out.